hello everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel in today's episode we are going to go on a tour on one of ghana's largest sweet potato farms which uses modern farming technology in farming processing and in production of high quality orange flesh sweet potato so you all stick and stay Me. Okay. I wish I follow my plan. This is my plan. Guys, who is. I can't watch. Say, guys. I'm going to upgrade a potato for you, just for you. So, my farm teacher, Map, now finally finds a spot with a fully grown potato and hands over the cutlass to me to also try my hands on it. And look at me, just look at me. <laughs> I'm so ashamed of myself. So I've always dreamt of having this kind of farming experience to be able to visit a farm and put this farming thing and here I am on Casa de Ropa Farms trying to uproot a potato just for you guys. <laughs> All thanks to Mabna, I was able to do this. One other interesting thing about the sweet potato, so before we leave here, is that this is all that you need to plant sweet potato. Just five pours of this is enough. Just one, two, three, four, five. That is all that you need. And if you put this one there in 90 days, you have this. 90 days. 90 days. That's as simple as that. And you need 13,500 of this to do one acre. And you can get as high as 10 tons. A 10 tons potato can give you 10,000 seeds in 90 days. <laughs> the machine will pick it line by line and just roll it. And then this, all these things can be done in like 10 minutes. But you don't need that much. Sweet potato. <laughs> Africa is poor because of agriculture. Because the agriculture that they do not be professional. It's yeah. not income generating. Oh yeah, no way dick a crap. The cocoa as a barrier. There's some yam like that. No way, we are no way dick. Now I do a boyfriend, now I wait, now I coach him now, now I oh, now I turn cocoa, now I hear about, now I go talk to my. That is not agriculture. <laughs> agriculture is where you are using technology to get a better yield because it's the money that will help you to. The only reason why Africa is poor is that the entire Africa, with a population of about 1.3 billion, only 3% of our land is irrigated. What it means is that 97% of the food we produce is rainfed. That's a shonan thing. Mm. So what happened? This year particular, 2021, it hasn't rained for here from 3rd July up to three days ago. There was no rainfall. So what will you do? There's a 20 acre maize farm. Later, I remember, I remember that one. There's a water there. Now, for almost one month, because there was no rain, then the whole maize is gone. And this is where you're supposed to get almost about 320 bags of maize. I'm not sure you'll get 50. So where agriculture is not commercialized, it's not like irrigation, it's still the old way. Uh -huh. This is Robert Kunsi. He's the, the water services engineer here. Wow. And his guy's name is called Honorable One. Honorable, Honorable One! one. <laughs> so he's going to teach us how we use the center people to irrigate. And this is a machine that is capable of doing 25 acres in a day. Honorable, say hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm going to fall at the journey. It's starting. You see, all of them will fall automatically. It's as simple as that. And it's you can move. my chart, it's not really here. We are irrigating the land as it is And that's more than So, this is what they use in the irrigation yeah. of the land. And that is Honorable going to move it. Yeah. 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 So we all see how irrigation can be done for the past month. There's no rainfall, and this is actually the sort of water for the plants. So yeah. all this is actually showing us that technology can help improve our uh, agriculture system in Ghana and in Africa at large. This irrigation machine controls the amount of water that is supplied to plants, and it's done easily and it's very effective for efficient plant growth. Amazing. Technology has really improved in a lot of things. Okay, so this is another interesting. This is right. So once we take the dam, the source of the water, and then we'll go and eat. 
Yeah. And then from there, we'll go into the process of okay. to this channel like this video if you actually enjoy it and then share it to everybody we're actually heading towards the dam the dam that supplies the farm with water so come with me this is actually the dam yeah, that supplies dam the two. farm yes. dam yes. two dam two we'll go to dam one which is bigger than this one. Oh, okay yeah so this is the smallest of them but it's, it's long yeah. it goes about three kilometers three kilometers <laughs> there's only there's only one life jacket here so but the guys here know two to man. The one who know Kakani is you have. Ah, so don't go far. Prof, I think one. you should bring a canoe here so that when we come, we can go. We are doing a street boat. We want to do an eco tourism here in the future. Okay. So the plan is to do an island. So at the back there's water. Yeah. And we have three dams actually. All of that has been done in the same way. Okay. Whereby we can actually do an eco tourism. Ah, the spillover is there. So the machine there also feeds this one. What you have there is maize, the entire green there is maize, and then the entire area that is now has been prepared for pumpkins. At this point, I'm taking a food break made from sweet potato and the soup made from pumpkin. You guys, I got this as the starter to wait for the fufu. There's actually a poultry in Casa de Europa, and then they steam, they steam them. Fried everything so nice. I'm going to taste it and give you my honest opinion. You guys, it's not bad at all. Yeah. potato is harvested, you bring it here in a pack house and then you decide what to do with it. So for this one, we are coming to process. So you see, that small one, here's the that. That small one, you see what? And it is enough for all of us to bring for us to The idea is that when you eat this one, automatically you are creating millions of jobs for Ghanaians. So that pressure of unemployment does not exist. We have 2.5 million people in secondary school. Eat every week. They decide that on a Friday, everybody will eat this food. Automatically, that 2.5 million of this will have to be grown by somebody. And this potato is already grown here. And so I also decided to help in the peeling process. So that is me, the pro that I am, peeling the sweet potato for it to be processed. So you all stick and stay. Please do not forget to subscribe. Yeah, so you guys, after all this peeling process, the sweet potato will be neatly washed. Yeah, so this is me trying to wash all the neatly peeled sweet potato. After peeling and washing them, it will be sent to the processing house and then that is where this Will turn into food automatically there are many foods that this sweet potato can be turned into we have fries pizza and others so this video is going to end here and then in the next video I'm going to show you guys how this sweet potato is processed into other foods stick and stay subscribe like comment and share thank you